Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and view through application. And in this video, we'll be filtering these appointments based on different styles. So if I click on schedule, and then we see this is scheduled appointments. If I click on confirmed, we see confirmed appointments. Similarly, if I click on cancelled, we see the cancelled appointments. So throughout this video, we'll be working on this specific feature. And in the next video, we'll finalize this. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's change this a little bit. So let me go to list appointments.view file. And here we have all schedule and close. So let's change this a little bit. Schedule confirmed and cancel. Confirmed and let's add another edge canceled. Okay but let's change the color as well for cancel let's change this to badge danger okay and for now let's make this as zero for every uh, status okay perfect now when i click on this schedule tab we need to listen for the click event on it so let's do that part on this schedule button let's listen for the click event and call the method call get appointments and we need to pass the status so let's define the status above for here const appointment status Let's define this on offset. Let's say scheduled is one, confirmed is two, and cancelled is three. And for these numbers, you'll match with the appointment status over here. Okay. So let me go on this. A function and let's do appointment status dot schedule okay so instead of passing integer uh, this is much more readable right so let me go to get appointments uh, function over here and we'll be receiving the status okay and while sending this get request let me add get as well and this box without get but let's add get uh, here we are sending the get request to this endpoint right now let's define the parameters is params and let's define as empty object here we have the all tab as well and different status tab as well so we need to check if there is a status so let's do if there is a status then let's assign that to params dot status to their given status okay and here we can pass those params params is Params. Now let me try this. Let me open up the console and then let me click on schedule. And if I go to network tab and we are sending that request, right? And if I go to headers and we are sending the parameters, status is one, right? Which is great. Now let me go to appointment controller and over here let's I am dumb request status and if i click on schedule and if i click on this let me preview it and we are receiving one right which is perfect and over here we can filter these appointments based on different status so let's use when method and when there is a status on our request then we'll perform this operation here we'll pass the query and then we'll return the query where where the status is appointment status from the given status request status okay here we are using enum uh, to convert that status and let's add semicolon now let's try this let me close this refresh it if i click on schedule then we see the list of scheduled appointments, right? Which is perfect. Similarly, we can do the same for confirm and cancel. So let me go to list appointments.view file. 
and let me copy that same code and over here we need to pass confirmed and over here we need to pass cancelled let me refresh it scheduled confirmed cancelled if i click on all then this is not working because uh, we are not listening for the click event on this button so we can listen for the click event but here we don't need to pass any appointment status so now if i click on schedule and click on all again then we see the list of all these appointments so this was for this video i hope this video was helpful for you and in the next video we'll finalize this uh, which includes uh, making this as active tab when we are on the schedule appointments and showing the total count for schedule confirm cancel and all appointments and finally don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one